Hi, my name is Barry Crampton. Today I'm going to show you around our Mercedes-Benz C-Class. Then I'll take you for riding it, but first I'll tell you a little bit more about it. It's a 2008 on an 08 plate Mercedes-Benz C-Class 2.1 C220 CDI SE Saloon. It's on 97,897 miles. Is MOT'd until the 10th of the 3rd, 2021. Fuel economy, urban 31 miles per gallon, extra urban 55.4 miles per gallon, and combined is 42.8 miles per gallon. 0 to 60 time of 8.5 seconds, a top speed of 141 miles per hour out of 170 brake horsepower, four cylinder, 16 valve engine. Road tax, six months is £129.25, 12 months is £235. So we've got the uh, the chrome grille and the Mercedes-Benz roundel here, or emblem, whatever you want to call it, uh, on the front. To me, Mercedes don't look like Mercedes without that particular feature. You've got front parking sensors there in the bumper. Multi-spoke alloy wheels, and it's uh, sat on Goodyear's all round as well, so Obviously, uh, the, the previous owner is not scrimped on uh, maintenance. The chrome window surround. It's got electric boot release from the key as well. Uh, plenty of room in the boot here, nice and tidy. Uh, spare wheel under the, the floor there. Rear parking sensors. Cloth seats, it's a charcoal kind of bolster and backs and so on with a, a dotted centre pattern. Um, nice Mercedes-Benz walnut trim insets in the back of the doors here, magazine pockets. You've got the Isofix rear child seat anchor points in, in the back here and nice high seat back. So very, very comfortable to be in. Uh, you know to be a passenger you've also up here you've got the display for the parktronic which you can see in your reversing mirror and uh, as you're getting closer to things not only is it beeping but the different segments are lighting up to tell you how you know how much room you've got really i'll just take you riding it We've got the two Mercedes-Benz keys there, and uh, well, there's, there's no blade, but you see there, there's a kind of fob at the end that uh, slots into the dashboard. So, just got the air con on full, it's quite warm today, and it's uh, nice and chilly, nice and night. The radio display there covered by the uh, that little flap, which uh, press the button. And up it goes. Nice comfortable seat. Nothing, nothing fancy about the C-Class, but very, very good cars. Nice to drive, plenty of room. If not got a big family. It's super. You see there the Parktronic on the front. Uh, it's also, you've got the same display in the roof at the back, which you can, if you've got your mirror set right, of course, when you're reversing, you, you don't need to turn around. You can see how far or how close you're getting to objects. And it's, um, I, I, there's not, well, there's nothing behind me, so I'll just show you this. So there you go. As, you, as you're pulling up there, it's uh, giving you a, a display on the, uh, on the Parktronic unit there tells you which side you're getting close to when i was at uh, when i was a sales manager at mercedes um i had to have an e-class at, at least as a demo and e-class was way too big for me it was sat on my drive half the time and the other half of the time it was sat outside at work paying a fortune in company car tax 
and I always wanted a, a, a C class, so um, they, they were absolutely perfect for me, for uh, for my needs. They're very economical, nice to drive. Got uh, virtually everything on you need, and to be fair, if you if you're getting new ones like I used to get free. <laughs> He used to have absolutely every extra that there was on, so we could demonstrate it to customers. That, that was the that was the excuse. <laughs> A couple of things that uh, I don't particularly like on Mercedes Benz. Um, they they always seem to just put a couple of things in that I don't like I, I, I don't know why I don't like where the cruise control is there and I don't like the the handbrake stroke foot brake as as it is in Mercedes it's okay in, a, in an automatic like this because you, you don't often use it but there's a big foot brake here on the left hand side so effectively you've got if you've got a manual you've got four pedals an automatic you've got kind of three pedals and uh, then to knock it off you pull this lever here, and it's it's either on or off. It's very difficult. It's not not too bad in automatic because you can have your foot on the the brake and let it off here and let the brake off by easing the pressure with your uh, with your left leg. Uh, in a manual, when you've got your foot on the clutch, unless you've got three legs, there ain't a whole lot you can do, and it bangs on and bangs off. Got comfort and sport here. There we go. If you knock the gear stick over here, you can change up and down. This chap's in the lane to go up the M65, but he's in the outside lane. Oh gosh, that person's turning left there out there. I've got a funny feeling this guy in front doesn't know where he's going. Yep, I was, uh, I was right. Side lane. <laughs> I, I do try not to moan on these test drives, but I tell you what, the standard of driving around Preston is absolutely abysmal. There we go. Put it back into comfort, holds it in gear as long as it can. And Makes your journey less jerky. We've got Bluetooth hands free, um, CD player. So the air conditioning here, that's nice and cold, I can, I can tell you that. You've got your electric windows on the right hand side here. And that, that is quite a good design there because a, a, lot, of the, uh, a lot of the time in cars, the, the electric window switch is flat on the armrest here. Where with, with Mercedes Benz, it's just Again, it's kind of muscle memory. You can, you can, without looking, you can just put your arm on the rest and, and you know, feel your way around. You global lock in there, global lock in and unlock. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put that down because I think it looks better. But uh, actually, I'll, I'll put it back up again. And so you, you've got kind of a like a BMW I control here, you can click back like so. Let's just put it on something that I can actually do that from. Put it on the radio, turn it down. As you can see there, you can knock in the thing across. If you knock it down, you can go onto the presets at the bottom, sound, select sound, 
the treble up there and uh, let's just uh, knock the bass up. Chap there on his Lamberetta with his guitar. <laughs> Bit of a cliche there. And take up the motorway. So let's say the cruise control on the speed limiter is on the left hand side here just above the indicator which isn't positioned too bad because you can see the indicator through this little hole in the steering wheel and you can see the cruise control there which I've just knocked on and believe it or not I, I kind of I did that by mistake um, I was going to indicate that I was turning onto the motorway and I I caught the cruise control. You, when you've been driving it for any length of time, a few days or so on, then that just doesn't happen. But uh, when you're in and out of different cars all the time, um, it does. I mean, in the old days, some cars used to have indicators on the right and, and you'd, you'd go out and you'd be wanting to indicate and you'd be switching the wipers on or, or, <laughs> or you want to switch the wipers on and you're indicating so you, you would think they'd kind of standardize it all over the world but perhaps not i'm actually going too fast there again he's in a range rover so he's allowed to right we'll just uh I'm at 70 there or thereabouts so just put the cruise on it's showing me on the display there that the cruise is actually set to 71 and uh, it's, I'm, I'm actually only in D4 so I'll knock it into D top. I need to be getting across there but nobody's leaving enough space here. So I'm just going to have to do a bit of a desperate manoeuvre or otherwise we'll be going to the Lake District. There you go, that's it. Let's just try and get up to 70 again. I don't think I'm going to make it here. Sixty-eight, seventy, in top. Doing 2,000 revs. And I don't want to run into the back of this uh, guy, so I don't want to undertake anybody. But nice and quiet. It's a good year. I think they're uh, efficiency tyres on them, so proper tyres, nice car, um, there is uh, a couple of scratches on the rear bumper which we'll, uh, we'll do our best to touch up but they are there, unfortunately uh, even though there's rear parking sensors on the vehicle that doesn't stop other people touching your car. Uh, nice comfortable seats, they're also electrically adjustable, electrically height adjustable and the backrest is electrically adjustable but the the kind of leg room that's from a lever down here, let me just see here, I've just got time to do that, no I haven't, I'll click that back up, so height and reach adjustable multifunction steering wheel as well. Just whip round here. Nice steering, good suspension. No indicators. Nice smooth gear change. Let me just knock it down, D3. So it looks like it's a five speed automatic gearbox. And, uh, 
as usual. The, the, the stretch of road where I try and test the suspension, make sure everything's all right with the steering. We're behind a, a slow coach. We'll just give them a few minutes to uh, get ahead of us. plunk it here for a minute so there you go you see there that's the cruise control there indicators there your headlights are on the right hand side here your mirror adjustment there that's the uh, right one the left one whoops have I got yeah there you go the left one left one's working fine too so we'll just, uh, I'll, sh I'll show you how to, let me just turn that up actually. Not sure whether they've left a CD in. Right, we'll try these windy. There you go, it's just in sport at the moment. So it's holding it in gear. trying to get a bit of momentum so I can load the each of the corners um, no noises there it's a lovely car great value for money if you've got a private plate to be fair Mercs well like, like Porsches they don't really change much over the years I think they had kind of a, a bit of a radical change in about 2001 from the old squarer shape to the slightly rounded shape. But uh, probably never notice what year it was. Lovely steering. Um, just trying to think what we've got coming up next. Actually, we, we've got a real good, not that they aren't all good cars, but hopefully on Monday we've got a G-Wagon um, to, uh, to video. So I'll be looking forward to that. And we've got a BMW 330 Estate and uh, hopefully a couple of other things coming. We're, we're very busy at the moment. Touch Walnut. Oh, there, there you go, that's a reminder. So again, we've got walnut insets in the door around the gear tunnel. It's, it's really nice. I, I like this style of car uh, as opposed to the aluminium. Um, the aluminium seems to scuff up a little bit if you, if you don't really look after it. The, the wood has got a real hard lacquer coating on and is a bit more durable. So, uh, this is my style of Mercedes. Great car. I'll pull over in a, in a short while um, and I'll show you how to pair and delete a, a mobile from the Bluetooth audio system. And uh, see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.